Uh, it sort of reared up, and then everything's but he's here. Oh, greetings, mighty Pharaoh, oh, ruler of all Egypt. As requested, O oh Pharaoh, we have laid plans for your burial. Ah, excellent. I must prepare for my journey to the afterlife and rebirth as a god. Yeah. So, what we thought for the grave was this. Ta-da! Simple, yet effective. Hmm. Obviously, we'll do the lettering in gold. Gentlemen, I don't think you quite get the idea. Oh, really? I was thinking of something a little bigger. No problem, we could get a bigger stone. B bigger stone? Two and a half tons. That's pretty heavy. And not just one. Don't tell me. You want three. I was thinking two and a half million. <laughs> two and a half million? What are you going to do with all those? Pile them all up on top of each other or something? <laughs> Can you imagine that? It'd be ridiculous. <laughs> yes. Forming a huge four-sided pyramid, 230 metres wide and 146 metres high. Um, right, so, sorry. How would we move the stones? Well, we could transport them in boats when the Nile is flooded. How are we going to get them 146 metres into the air? Boring. You'll think of something. Uh, can't you have a nice gravestone? No! I am Pharaoh. I don't want what everyone else has. I want a mighty monument worthy of the gods. Now just get on with it. Honestly, he's a pain. Tell me about it. In Britain, they simply cover people up with great mounds of earth. Well, you know, we should just go there. Yeah. Yeah, weather's not so hot, mind. <laughs>